Hi folks, it's Mike Murphy, and today's quick tip is an Adobe After Effects CC 2024. In this tutorial, I'm gonna introduce you to the value at time expression, which you can use to endlessly loop mask or shape paths. So the loop out expressions will work on the transform properties of a layer. So that's anchor point, position, scale, rotation, opacity, but the loop out expressions will not work on mask paths or shape paths animations. If I press option or alt and enter in the same loop out cycle animation, I get this error message. So the workaround or the fix when you are getting this error message trying to use the loop out cycle expression on a mask path or a shape path animation, instead of using the loop out expression, use this value at time expression. And I will leave it in the description of this tutorial so you can easily copy and paste it. To illustrate this, I have a simple animation where I've animated a mask on to reveal text. So this is a mask path animation. And once the text is revealed, I then used a shape layer to draw a line underneath. So I have a mask path and a shape path animation. I then just copied and pasted the keyframes and reversed the keyframes to animate off. I'll tap the spacebar to preview the animation. Text comes on, text animates off, but the animation stops as soon as it reaches the last set of keyframes. So option or alt click on mask path. I'll type out loop out, capital O-U-T, open and close parentheses, click away, there is the error message. So to overcome this and endlessly loop this mask path and shape path animation, I'm going to option or alt click on the stopwatch for mask path. I'm gonna enter in that value at time expression. I'll repeat this on the shape path, option or alt click on the shape path. I'm gonna paste in the value at time. Now when I tap the space bar, the animation is going to endlessly loop for the duration of my composition. One really important thing to understand about this value at time expression is that the placement of the keyframes does matter and you're probably gonna get the best results or the most control when you have the keyframes towards the beginning of your timeline. So when the keyframes are at the beginning of the timeline and you're using this value at time expression, the loop is going to work exactly as you would expect. It's going to go through the keyframes. When it gets to the end of the keyframe, it's just going to start over and loop over and over again. Now, if you were to move the keyframes further down the timeline, so I'll just move it to the five second mark. So there's now five seconds between the beginning of the timeline and the first keyframe. When it gets to the end of the animation now, it's not gonna start the loop over until it reaches the five second mark past the last keyframe. So I'm currently at eight. So when it gets to about the 13 second, the loop is going to start over again. So the distance between the beginning and the first keyframe is going to be factored in to the when it starts to loop over again. And if you actually move the keyframes before the timeline, so you're only seeing these last two keyframes, it's going to cut off the first two keyframes and just endlessly loop these last two keyframes over and over again. So if you ever find yourself animating a mask path or a shape path, and you really want to use the loop out expression, but you're getting an error message, just know that there is a workaround with this value at time expression. So I would recommend just copy and paste it, put it in a note somewhere on your computer so you know you can do it if you ever need to in a pinch. That is your quick tip in Adobe After Effects CC 2024. And my name is Mike Murphy. Cheers.